the body of Christ. You know. And so I, I began to speak about that because we need to be able to know what we're doing. We need to be able to know the signs. Not you know, a lot of people talk about the signs of the times. Tell me the signs of my times. I want to know the signs of my times. What it is that you're leading me into. I don't do things haphazardly. I don't walk into things haphazardly. You know, the things I've been through in the past, that didn't happen just to happen. It happened for a reason. And these are the things that, you know, the Lord's going to begin to reveal to you. Why did you, you have to be treated the way you was treated when you was in school? Why did, you know, the kids pick on you, seem like most pick on you more than, than, than the other kids? You know, why, why, why was I born in a certain family and, you know, why was our family in this class and not that class? And, you know, all of these different things that we go through, we may not have been born with the silver spoon in our mouth, but, 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 but why? You know, and this is something that the Lord is going to lead you. You may have been feeling like, you know what, I want to move in the spirit. I want to begin to move and function. I have people come up to me and say, man, I want to move. I see people with stars in their eyes where they say, you know, I want to move and I want to function. I want to practice the Holy Spirit. This is something that is a good thing because the Lord is going to begin to lead you into a time of training. It's going to be your training. This world, this very world, and the very circumstances, the very things that go on in your life from day to day is going to be your training ground. Do not despise it. Don't despise it. You know, embrace it. Embrace your time with the Lord. Embrace your time in hiding. I came into the things of the Lord head over heels. I didn't. I wasn't saved, and then it took me a few years to get filled with this Holy Ghost. No, everything was all at once. Bam. You know, I was head over heels in love with God. I said, I want everything. I want to know it all. I want it all. I want everything. I don't want to just know one part. I want to know everything. This is a kingdom and this is a place that I never knew existed. And quite frankly, you can't just hear about this place. You have to experience this place for yourself. See, it takes your faith to say, well, Lord, I'm going to dive into the things of you. I'm going to dive into your presence. I'm going to dive into your functions and your operations. And this is, I said, I want it all. And I used to meet, I was telling my husband about this the other day, I used to meet with the Lord um, at times during the daytime. But as I was working, it was kind of hard for me to meet with him at the times that I wanted to meet with him. So I said, okay, you know what, I'm going to I want to meet with you at 12 o'clock at night, Lord, that's a good time. Getting up early in the morning is kind of hard for me. I got to run, take the kids to school, go to work. When I come home, I'm dead tired. I'm trying to get food on the table. I said, let me sleep for a few hours. And I said, 12 o'clock midnight, I want to wake up and I want to get in your word and I want to spend time with you. This one particular night, what I used to do is I used to take my alarm clock. And I would take my alarm clock and I would set it for 12 o'clock. Well, this one particular night, the alarm clock didn't go up. But I lay there. And I was somewhere in between sleeping and awake. And it's like I felt this whoosh wind just kind of blow on me, but very gent gentle. But I never experienced that before. So it kind of blew my mind. Like, okay, well, what's going on? And it was dead. I remember it being hot summer, dead summer. So there was no air. I, my mind was trying to figure out what happened. So I'm looking at the window. I see the windows open, but there was no air. Whatever blowing into that room. The fans were off, everything was like, where did this little wind come from? Where did this, this burst of wind come from to wake me up? And when I woke up, it's not like I had to work myself into his presence. I was already in his presence. The, the room was already electrified with his presence. And it wasn't like I had to, you know, get worked up. And it was just, he was there. And I could just, just begin talking to him. And, you know, we just talk and go into the Word and he show me some things in the Word. And I remember beginning to explain that to my coworker, and she looked at me. She said, I, "I really don't think you realize that I don't experience the Lord like that." You see, all of these times I was explaining to her these different things that were happening, in my mind it was like normal. Like, don't you? I'm waiting for her to say, "Yeah, me too. That happened to me too." Or, I had a similar experience, but she wasn't saying that. 
So my question to you is, is that just something that only certain people can experience and not everyone? What make what what was the difference? What was the difference of me experiencing a supernatural encounter with the Lord? And the difference of someone that, that doesn't experience those supernatural encounters. What did the Lord say in his word? He said, earnestly desire. You have to be in expectancy. There has to be an expectancy. There has to be a time that you're saying, what did I say? We're going to find a way to meet me and you, God. We're gonna, I want to I want to meet you. I want to see you. I want to talk to you. I want to learn some things out of your word. I want to. I was excited. Where, what's the element that I had? I was excited. I'm not saying that that lady wasn't excited. I'm not saying that she wasn't in expectancy. I'm not saying that she wasn't calling on the Lord. All I'm saying is that when you have that excitement and you have that urgency and says, Lord, I want to meet with you. I want to see you. I want to see you face to face. I want to learn your word. I want to know the things of the Lord. I want to know your word. I want to know your heart and I want to know your mind, Lord God. I want to know. With the heart and the mind of God. When you come and you have that kind of expectancy in you, that kind of excitement, God can't help but show up in these ways. He can't help but show up in supernatural ways. So what does the scriptures say? It says, earnestly desire. You have to have an earnest desire. What is the first thing you wake up thinking about? When you go to bed, what is the last thing on your mind? God is wanting to show us how to live. He wants to show us how to obtain. He wants to get some things to us. He wants to get his blessings to us. He wants to get his goodness to us. But he says we have to earnestly desire. And guess what? There's a faith factor. That you say, okay, I know that if I earnestly desire and I earnestly seek spiritual gifts and I earnestly seek the Lord, that I know He's going to show up and I know He's going to be there for me. But guess what? Not everybody has that faith. So the scripture says that if you don't have that faith, to do what? Ask for it. Ask for a measure of faith that you don't have. Say, Lord, give me a measure of faith. Oh, brother so-and-so has such faith, Lord. They were able to pray down mountains and, you know, cast things into the sea and lay their hands on the sick and they recover in it. They, they, they speaking a word and they watching it as it comes to pass. Lord, I want that faith. But God, I don't, be honest. If you don't have that faith, say, Lord, I want that faith. I want supernatural faith. You know, let's be honest where we are. Let's be honest about where we are. I remember praying that prayer. I remember saying, my faith. I know faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that's another thing. You get into the word. You, 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 you read the word. You saturate yourself with the word. How can your faith level grow if you're not in the word? It's just faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, the thing is, it's not just by reading the word, it's just by hearing.